Hi guys, this is Predaking79 and I'm doing the review of G1 Protector Bots who uh, of course combine to form Defensor. Okay, um, what I'll do, I'll go through each of the figures in turn and then we'll go ahead and we'll transform them into Defensor. Okay, this is one of the uh, original uh, Generation 1 Autobot combiners. Great. Uh, Great figure the Defensor is, but so we'll go through. This is Groove, first of all, okay. Um, Groove, like many of the other um, protector bots, should have weapons with him, um, but I don't have those because I don't think it looks particularly great having first aid vehicles um, like an ambulance, um, police car, and a police bike with guns. It just doesn't look right to me. Um, in the case of uh, Blades, who's here? Um, I do have his cannons. I think that looks kind of cool. I do use those um, in when you combine them to form defense. Oh, I do like to have those on him. It looks quite cool. So I'll take those off just for a second while we transform him. Just move this out like so. Spin these round. But yeah, I say you can get guns for the others, but I just don't have them. And they're kind of pricey as well. They increase the price of the figures quite a lot. These are good quality figures, but they only cost me about a pound or so each. Um, I think with uh, Streetwise, who we'll see in just a second, who's about a fiver, but the rest of them are all around about a pound. So if you want to pay a bit more and get all the accessories, you can do. Um, but I didn't really think it was worthwhile. I don't think it adds to the figure a great deal. So I didn't bother. So there's Blades. There's Streetwise. Go ahead and move him around. Um, nice thing about these figures is they do have metallic bits on them, um, metallic parts. Um, you can see Streetwise has got uh, metallic parts there. Adds that authentic G1 feel. Um, if you pick up a knockoff of these, it won't have metallic parts like that. Um, so that's worth bearing in mind. Um, better to get one of the original sets anyway. Um, the knockoffs tend to be. Yeah, they're very poor quality to be honest. Um, first aid, metal bits on, on the chest here. It's the same with uh, groove and blades. They all have metal chest plates. So, oops. Just um, be careful with these figures because they are quite can be quite fragile, depending on how old they are. So this first day is not in fantastic condition. A lot of slicker wear, but uh, you know I might pick up a better one at some point. But for now he's fine. Uh, and then we have Hotspot, the leader. Okay, so uh, we'll go through the you know, defensor in a moment. But um, these are the guns that Hotspot uses. Um, they can clip on the side of him during during uh, for vehicle mode, just onto the side like that. Okay, so you can have him as a a uh, fire truck with guns on the side. Uh, again, it doesn't really add to the figure, I think. So I just leave them off. Transform him. But there we go. Okay. Um, we'll go ahead and transform him. Just a question of moving the top it round. Got nice rubber tyres as well. Looks kind of cool. Head pops up. Like so. Metal chest plate here. That comes up like that. And then the legs. Literally just come down. You need a little, quite a lot of force actually to to pull those out. So be careful with that when you're doing. And then you can just have his legs like so. Okay. And just pop his hands out as well. Little tabs on the side like that. Plate. So it's an old figure, so it does stick a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, we'll leave this hand, I don't want to damage it. I oh, know, here we go. <laughs> as soon as you give up, it pops out. But yeah, there's the, uh, there's the five of them. Okay, without their weapons. Okay, we'll go ahead now and transform them into Defensor. So, starting with that spot, I'll move the uh, Four small bots to the side so you can get a better view of, uh, of what I'm doing here. 
Okay, so starting with hot spot, we're going to pop the chest plate back down, pop the fists back in, push the fists into the side, there's a little hole there, so the peg on the arm pops into that. Both sides like so. Keeps it nice and snug when you're in, when you're in defensive mode. Pop the head back in, just push it in like that, and it sticks in. Okay, and move his legs to that angle. Ooh. Just like this leg does stick a little bit. Got to pull it out a bit. There we go. Oh, a little bit further. There we go. Gosh, you can hear that click, can't you? It's very, uh, it's quite stiff. So be careful with those who've got an old one. I don't want to damage it. Okay, so he's looking in that sort of mode like that. Okay. Next, we move the ladder round like so. Okay, you can see at the back there, there is Defensor's head. Um, it's attached to him, which is cool. So just pop that up like that. Okay, he's um, he's the only uh, G1 combiner for the head actually comes as part, is attached to Hotspot, attached to the leader. Of the silly others have separate heads. Um, so that's kind of cool. You don't have a you know, separate head to lose, which is good. Um, so better, you know, that's obviously a bonus. Um, we'll start with the legs. Um, Want to have groove here, and um, just going to almost turn him back into um, bicycle mode, bike mode. But uh, we're just going to leave the, the hood down. Okay, so he's going to be the uh, the right leg. Okay, um, with these feet, you can have you can actually see on the bottom whether it's right or left. So you can see this one here. If you can see that, that's his little left one there. We're going to just, just pop this right foot in there. Just sits in like that. Okay, and we're going to have streetwise as the right leg. So we're going to pop him like so. Okay. I'm doing this quite quickly because I have actually recorded this video before and it overran. So apologies if I'm going over things a little bit um, too quickly. So anyway, the head just pops in his feet like so. You can see that there. Move my hand out of the way. Yeah, just there. It easier if you do it like that. Okay, so it's like that. Streetwise does the same. And then just push his arms in to make it look a bit more compact. Like so. Okay. Just bear with you one second. Just go and see. Lift the camera up a little bit so you can see a bit better what I'm actually doing. Okay, that's better. Okay, there's the fencer. Um, we're going to put his body armor bits on now. These two chest plates fit onto these holes just here, like so. Okay, so this is his. Uh, crutch piece or groin piece or whatever you want to call it and that just clips in like that okay moving on to blades quickly and um, those arms go down put the head out pull that down and we're going to take the cannons off and swap them around so that they are on the other side and rotors go like that Grab a hand, pop the hand in the hole. There you've got that. You see, I like to uh, have the cans there because then you know you can use them in in robot mode. Um, first aid. Again, arms in, head down. Pop that up. Pop that defenseless hand back in. Okay, we're gonna give him a blaster. There we go. So he will sit. In like that, and uh, got a second gun as well, which you can pop in like so if you want to. Quite a poseable figure um, for a G1 figure. You've got to uh, see the head, um, the arms moving around, lots of articulation there for, for a G1 figure, anyway. Um, and yeah, you know, he's a nice figure. He's um, the first. 
uh, G1 combiner that I had, and uh, I've got a sort of a bit of a sus touch for him for that because you know he's a nice figure. So um, yeah, pick him up price wise. Uh, I could pick one of these um, with all the accessories. You'd be looking at about 60, 60 pounds or so um, with just the defensor parts um, and all the bots. You probably pay about forty pounds. So uh, worth worth keeping an eye out for if you can get. Okay. Uh, see you soon.